Hi, everybody. Well, a Carnival passenger has written in not too happy with Carnival Cruise Line because of a medical thing that they got charged for that you can get pretty much done for free at any pharmacy across North America. So the passenger writes in that they were going on a cruise with her husband and her husband has to have his blood pressure checked regularly. And she admits that she did not bring her blood pressure machine with them. Now, some of these can be very, very small, very, very, you know, they don't, they're not big contraptions like this. They're, they're like straps that are like this big. It's also like people who are testing their blood sugar and have the little beeper and they do beep, test their blood sugar or a little kit that they have to poke a needle and check their stuff. These are common things when you have problems and have to have an ongoing regulation and keep monitoring yourself for different things. Well, her husband needed to have blood pressure. So they went down to the infirmary on board and had a doctor take his blood pressure. Lo and behold, later on in the cruise, they got a bill for a visit to the doctor's office on the ship. And they said, hey, something that is common practice and it's, you know, life-saving, it's monitoring somebody's health, should be, they should, and it's free at pharmacies. You can walk into almost any pharmacy and there's a blood pressure machine right there. Why, oh why, does, does Carnival charge for this procedure? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, people can buy their own blood pressure machines and things like that anywhere from $25 to $50. And it's portable and you can carry it with you and you can take it with you and you can do your own monitoring and it's your responsibility. A, one of those machines that you see in the pharmacies can cost upwards of $3,500, $4,000. Now put that on every single Carnival ship that they own, over a hundred cruise ships, by the way. That's a substantial amount of money. Now what happens if that machine malfunctions in any way and gives a false reading to somebody and something happens to that passenger, now Carnival's responsible. Not the passenger because they misread it. The doctor and the Carnival Cruise Line is now responsible. And there would be lawsuits going forward. So first off, they have to have this huge expense of over $300,000 to outfit all their ships. Then they would be having to have their staff every single day monitor every single person who wanted to have a blood pressure test for free. There would probably be 50 to 60 people a day going down to the infirmary, taking up the doctor's time, the nurse's time, etc., all without making any money back from it, all at the expense of the cruise line. And then you have that insurance liability as well. Then, if you start doing that for blood pressure, then people would say, hey, I am diabetic and I need to test my sugar uh, every day, many times a day, you should be providing that service for me, etc., 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 down the road, correct? Once you start providing a free service of some kind that's medical, that is a common practice amongst the many, many people, then people who also have a type of medical would want theirs covered as well, right? Like the woman who tripped or hurt her ankle uh, in the parking lot of the cruise line and then was shocked that the cruise line wanted to charge her for a scooter or a wheelchair rental. Well, yes, um, it's not their fault you hurt yourself in the parking lot. Why are they providing you with free things because you got injured? If they provide you because you got injured with a free wheelchair, then they would have to provide everybody getting on the ship who needed a wheelchair or a scooter a free one. 
and those all cost money, which would cost money for everybody getting on board. The prices would just skyrocket. And they've already skyrocketed without the need for all of these things. So I don't, I don't think there was a problem charging if they needed to have this done, especially since there's an alternative. The person could have brought their own machine with them and done it on the ship as often and as many times as they saw they needed to have it done. Sometimes again, we have to take our own responsibility for things that we need to have done ourselves and not rely on others to do it always for us. And then be surprised when a company wants to charge us for a service rendered. <laughs> I'm always kind of surprised that people are, all, are hey, well, why is that company charging us for something? Well, they have to pay for employees, they have to pay for medical supplies, they have to pay for space on the ship, they have to hire the doctors and nurses, etc. That's why they're charging you. Because they have to charge, be, they're being charged by other people to give you that service. Seems kind of common sense to me.